Hi guys, this is Reggie. Today I want to introduce you how to set up uh, Haska for your Alexa. I hope this video will make this procedure easier and make your Alexa uh, more powerful. So the first step is go to GitHub and then uh, download uh, Haska Master or using here, download and then download as a zip file. And then go to the uh, Haska Master folder and you need to config um, uh, your this file. Uh, just uh, um, follow what Bruce did here. Uh, so in my case, I download Home Assistant in my MacBook and Bruce used Raspberry Pi. Uh, for my case, I think it's easier for me to like find my IP address, IP address for my MacBook and type uh, just very simple type in this line. Just replace the local host uh, uh, as your uh, MacBook uh, IP address. The next step, you will need to go to Amazon Developer Console, uh, click uh, Alexa here, and then click Add a New Skill. So for uh, this uh, skill name, you can name whatever you like. So I name it Haska Reggie, and then, um, but for um, the name of your Lambda function later, I will talk about. You need to create. You must name it as uh, Haska. Uh, that is be that is because. Um, in the some like Python file, the they will call the Haska function, so uh, you shouldn't name it as uh, other name for your Lambda function. Okay, so the next step here is configuration, and um, so you will find the AWS Lambda ARN uh, when you create your Lambda function. And here the account linking is that you need to use the information in login with Amazon application uh, information uh, when you do setting up at there and you will find all the information uh, here. And later I will talk about that. So here this is what your Lambda function should like should looks like. And you can follow Bruce's uh, uh, video uh, how to set it up. So what Bruce me missing is about this um, this handler here. It's a Haska the invent handler. You must uh, change that. So in Bruce's video, um, he he missed it, I think. Um, but this is uh, very important because if this is wrong, nothing will work, and it happens to me. So this is uh, login with Amazon application should uh, looks like after you set it up and this uh, private notice URL is your public uh, home home, uh, home assistant um, IP address and you can find your uh, client ID and the client secret here and you need to copy paste it to the uh, Alexa skills you just you, you are setting up and also you can you need to add it here so this information you can also find um, in the configuration of your Alexa skill. You can find this uh, allowed return URLs information. Just copy paste it to here. After you're done with your login with the uh, Amazon application, copy client ID and uh, client secret code uh, here. And this is some of the setting. So uh, Bruce video did a very good job on explaining this and you can follow that. After you setting up um, your Alexa skill, uh, you, you actually don't need to publish it, but um, you will see the skill type uh, that allows you to start testing your skills. So go to your uh, Alexa app and then click uh, skill here. And then your skills, you will see. Uh, you have uh, you will see the Alexa the Alexa skill you just build will show up here. Click and then it will also link your account. So after you are uh, successful link your account, it will uh, looks like this. After you successfully uh, you set up your Haska. Uh, your Alexa become more powerful because uh, it can do all this stuff. 
for example, when you're setting up your sins, uh, in your home assistant, Alexa is able to trigger that, which is uh, very interesting for me. And uh, this website also give you some uh, uh, example command you can say to Alexa and Alexa uh, is able to uh, interact with this. And that's it. Yeah, thank you very much.